Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Sean Gardnavo. And we're from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada. Today, Sean and I will take a look back at the July 2019 real estate market activity in Silver Springs. And please remember to hit the like, subscribe, and notification buttons below. All right, let's take a look inside MLS and see what happened in Silver Springs. Let's do it. Since this is our first time doing a market report about Silver Springs, we want to show you where it is in relation to Reno. It's about 45 miles east and much easier to access now that USA Parkway is open. 16 units sold in July 2019, which was three more than June of 2019 and seven more than July of last year. The median price in July fell 11% from June because of three older and less valuable units sold in July compared to June, in which only one unit moved under 90,000. Plus two units went from for over 300,000 in June. With such small amounts of data, it creates a sharper slope. Days on market also dropped a whopping 49 days month over month. However, it did go up a few days over last year. Two homes had sat on the market for 11 months before finally closing in June. Compared to July, where the longest sale took eight months to close. It takes time in this remote area to find that right buyer. Percent of ask received went down less than 1%, which is still good at 96.8% for July. In terms of median price, it's a three to $6,000 difference, which isn't enough to reject most offers. However, the percent of ask received is 2% higher than last year. And for more market reports, click the link you see in the upper right corner now. Well, there's your look back at the July 2019 real estate market action in Silver Springs. And if you found this information helpful, please share this to your social media. Well, that'll do it for us this month from the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group 1 Inc. in Reno, Nevada. I'm Philip Goodman. And I'm Sean Gardenapo. We'll see you next month.